Home sales across the U.S. are on the rise as buyers take advantage of record low mortgage rates and a chance to leave city life behind. According to a new report, more rich millennials are on the move. So where are they going and why? Well, here to break it down is one of the top 100 realtors in the U.S., Rogers Healy of the Healy Global Relocation. All right, where are these rich millennials headed? <laughs> well, first of all, the term rich millennials, I think, might need to calm down just a little bit. You know, I think that the, the theme you. of these places are moving to, it's places that are affordable where you can still get a good bang for your buck. And, and thankfully, millennials, a couple years ago, they started saving their money up. And now with everything going on in the world, they still want to have the American dream. So we've seen a big shift to places that are the new New York, the new California, the new Illinois. So, uh, yeah, I, I, we have, you know, some, some pretty good places in, in mind to share with you guys this morning. And the, the first place is Washington State. Um, which which has proven to be, be a, a great place. Obviously, Seattle's there, but Olympia and Spokane and, and, and cities like that, you know, it's proven to be a really pretty place on the Pacific Northwest part of our country, and you're right by Vancouver. So I, I think people appreciate the outdoorsy life, and if you're not able to be by Colorado, which is our next state, I think that people are going to continue to flock to Washington. You're also close to Idaho, Idaho, which is not, you know, a populous state just yet, They've got access to it, so people enjoy the the outdoor living, and uh, that, that's been you know that's been that's been a, a big push in Colorado. Like I said, no one's ever going to not go to Colorado, but you know when places like Denver continue to grow, mm -hmm. it's no longer just a place you go in, you know in, in the ski season. So we've seen a, a big push to Denver um, as well. Can y'all hear me? Okay. Yeah, of course, Rogers. Uh, on on that. Um... Texas is another one. We've seen businesses move to Texas. Right. You're saying people are as well. Yeah, so yeah, that's where we're based here in North Texas in DFW, and Texas has been incredible really the last five years. And we see big moves again like last week with, with uh, Elon Musk making Austin his next headquarters. And, you know, Washington, Florida, Texas, et cetera, there's no state income tax either. But Texas has seen multiple Fortune 50 companies move here in the last two or three years, and I think it's going to continue to happen. And the difference between Texas and and Washington and Florida and Colorado and even North Carolina, which is on our list as well, is Texas doesn't really have the mountains. Texas doesn't really have the water. We're kind of flat, but once you get over that, you know, you, you get used to it. So, yeah, Texas has been great. And like I was saying, too, Florida has proven to be another state for people just flocking to. And it's not just because of the water. It's because of the affordability factor. And not necessarily beach towns. We've seen places, you know, inland that have done very, very well, especially in the pandemic, and yep. millennials are going to be moving these places, you know, in, in groves. All right. Look out, snowbirds. The youngsters are coming to Florida. Roger Healy, thank you very much for that. We'll keep an eye on it. Be safe. All right.